In this video, I will explain how you can transfer cryptocurrency from Binance straight into your mobile money wallet. So if you are someone who just want to know how to transfer your crypto or your crypto and turn it into cash and finally get it in your mobile money wallet, then I got you in this video. Or if you are someone who maybe your friend sent you money and he said, oh, I've transferred it into your Binance wallet, this same video will guide you to withdraw that money. So guys, without wasting any time, let's go right on the screen so that I show you how this is done. Let's start by opening the Binance app. So if I open the app, this is where it will bring me. So here is the home page. Now, if you want to see whether you have money or not, just come here and check your total balance. So you see, anytime you have some money in your Binance account, the total will always be shown here. So now that the total is here, I have $22 right here. So how can I withdraw this $22? So the first thing to do is to come here and tap on your wallet now after tapping on wallet there are two things you have to know here if you have the money in your spot wallet you can withdraw it directly but if you have it in your funding wallet that is where you can withdraw it so first of all i don't know where this money is right now because it's just showing that i have money in my binance account so now i want to find out whether it's in the spot wallet or it's in the funding wallet so i'll tap on funding wallet first so after searching the funding wallet i realized that you know this money is not in the funding wallet so what do i have to do i have to go back and check the spot wallet so i've realized that the money is now in the spot wallet so that means i have to transfer this money into the funding wallet for me to you know easily withdraw this money i don't want to make this video too long so i what, all you have to do is to tap on transfer so once you tap on transfer search here check here if it is bitcoin that you have then you can go ahead and leave it on bitcoin i mean this place but if you don't if you have different uh different asset or different crypto let me go back so that you see something so over here if you come here you see all the various cryptocurrencies that you have so over here i have usdt which is equal to dollars so if someone send you usdt and all that you will see it right here so even if it is in the funding wallet you see it showing here but because i don't have uh, USDT in the funding wallet that's why you will not see it here so I will transfer the money from the spot wallet to the USDT wallet so that you see what I'm talking about so as remember I said if the money is in the spot wallet you can withdraw it directly unless you have to bring it to the funding wallet so now I'm bringing it to funding wallet so I have to tap on transfer so if I tap on transfer then I'll come here and tap on, uh, if you tap on transfer, you see here, they'll say uh, spot wallet. That means the first one says you are transferring it from spot wallet to funding wallet, which is yes. So I'll just come to the down here. What am I transferring? I'm transferring USDT. So USDT. So if someone sent you a Bitcoin, you have to leave your own at Bitcoin. But if someone send you usdt then you can transfer it to usdt or if it is any crypto that they sent to you you have to change it so now sorry let me go back again so i'm taking this to usdt so now you can see it has changed from um, bitcoin to usdt so how much am i transferring i'll tap on maximum so maximum means i'm redrawing everything so i'll come here and tap on confirm so now if you check my spot wallet now you realize that the account is now zero and if you go to my funding wallet you can check you can see that i have like 22 dollars 24 cents so that's what i'm talking about so now we can now withdraw this particular money so now to withdraw this you have to go to you have to go to p2p you see p2p in the corner there then you tap on it so if you tap on it just go to the top here and tap on sell because 
it's like you have a crypto so if you didn't sell it you can't get the money so we have to tap on you know sell so i'll come here and tap on sell so if i tap on sell they'll show me the amount at which people are buying the uh, crypto the uh, cryptocurrency the amount that people are buying the usdt so if you check here someone is buying usdt for 12 12 cities 50 cents so meaning one dollar is equal to 12 cities 50 uh, 51 one dollar is equal to 12 cities 57 pesos that's what someone is that's how someone is buying it if you come here to someone is buying it at the same price if you go down people are buying it at different different uh prices so you just go through and see the one that will benefit you sometimes if you want to buy them some people can bring like someone can bring here like let's say uh, 12 cds 60 pesos okay even though everyone is saying is uh, people are giving it at a lesser price they they can send it at a higher price but sometimes the payment method will not favor you so you have to check the payment method too and the amount from which the person is buying to might not favor you so for instance i'm just selling like 22 dollars uh 22 usdt 22 usdt cannot be equal to 500 ghana cities as at the time i'm doing this video so this person is buying from 500 ghana cities so i can't sell to this person but if i come here okay if i come here too i can't sell to this person because uh the person cannot buy from below 300 ghana cities so i have to skip that too then let me move on to the next one this one too i can't sell to this person so let me go down oh this one too, i can't sell to this person so i have to go down and see who exactly i can sell to the reason why i'm going down is because of the down here so because of the down here uh, the amounts they are buying it from like i don't have that amount so i have to go down and search and see if there's any amount in my favor so finally i've gotten some that is in my favor someone is buying from 100 ghana cities to um, 1000 ghana cities so that's going to be in my favor but you know uh, i'll be buying it at a lesser rate as compared to those who are who are selling from 300 ghana cities 500 ghana cities and above so guys these are some of the things you need to know so now i'm going to sell to this guy so i'll tap on sell so after tapping on sell i have to put in the amount i want to sell so i can say i'll go to all i want to sell everything so select payment method so i will select my payment method so if you don't have payment method yet they'll ask you to add your payment method so i have payment method here so i'll just tap on one of my accounts that i've added already all right so now that i'm selling everything i have to check the amount that i'm supposed to receive so if you check here i'm supposed to receive 278 ghana cities 99 pesos so this is the amount the guy is supposed to send to me so everything will be shown right here so you are not going to be calculating everything not manually so guys that's it another thing you must know is that you know everyone who is buying your usdt or your crypto has their own terms and conditions so you have to go to the down here and check the terms and conditions they are providing so here if i check here um he says uh, please read this carefully carefully i don't pay to agents slash merchants i repeat i don't pay to agents slash merchants so if you're a merchant or an agent you have to know that you don't pay like so all you have to read through their terms and conditions to understand uh you know their to understand exactly what he means so guys that's it so apart from that everything is okay so I'll just tap here and say sell with zero fees. So here they tell me the advertiser is not online. So now I can go back and look for a different person. So that one there, let me do it first. It's the same process. So, Charlie, people game on you. I swear. Look at uh, yeah, look at the amount people are posting right here. Eish. Charlie, I'm gonna hear people game money. I swear. Yeah. 
So now I've seen a different person. I think maybe he might be online. So let me just go here and sell to him and see. It's the same procedure, guys. So I'll just tap here and go here and read his terms and conditions. So he said, no easy pay so he too has given his terms and conditions so he said no easy pay and no app pay trust me uh strict mtn mobile money payment okay strictly mobile money payment so it's like that's what he's saying so you have to read all this one so that you don't do mistakes so now i'll just go and tap on sell so sorry i have to select my payment method so my payment method is here so I'll tap on sell. So, guys, that is it. So now I've sent the money. Oh, sorry, I've sent my crypto to Binance. This what I've sold right now is not going to the uh, to the other guy who is buying it yet. So Binance is going to hold it. Then they wait until I receive money. So if I receive money, then I will have. I will just tap here. I'll just tap here and let them understand that I've received uh, the payment straight into my Momo wallet. But if I do mistake and tap here and say I've received payment, Binance will release the asset to the guy and he will just go free with that. But if he's merciful, maybe he will just send it to me. So I'll, I'm chatting with the seller directly, so I'll just go to, I'll say, I'm still waiting bro so sometimes you can do that so that the person will know that you are in a hurry to you know take your money so oof. all right so guys if you can check uh sorry i'm sweating too much so guys if you check you can see that the money have just arrived so i'll go to my momo and see okay so cash in received for uh 27 ghana cities now he's supposed to send it 99 pesos but he sent uh 98 pesos which is so for me i will not debate about this because it's just uh 0.01 sense that is gone so if i like i can tell you know uh binance that the guy didn't send the full money but since i'm in a hurry to take this okay so he sent me a message he said he has paid so i'll tell him but it's left with zero point sorry so like this one is not necessary but if you like you can chat him and let him know that it's left with some coins before it to reach or you can choose to cancel it so i'll just go back here uh i'll just go back here so i'll just go back here and tell binance that i've received payment but one thing you must know is that you know at this stage you can do a mistake like some people if they are fraud what will do, they will do is that they'll test you a message and you see that message and think that you've received the money so if you do some small mistake via like the normal way that they've been hacking like they've been robbing people you think that you've received the money before you realize like you didn't receive any money into your account so guys if you are doing it be careful about that i'm doing this video so that you get to know some of the tricks that people can use to scam you on Binance. Now, I'll be doing more videos about that in times to come, but this one there, like, let's do it very fast. So, I'll come here and say, payment received. I have received the correct amount. So, I'll just come here and say, I've received the correct amount. Then, I'll tap on, you know, confirm. So, guys, that is it for now. So guys, that is it. So once I tap that, that I've received the money, that is it. So the guy also received my USDT and I also received his cash. So guys, that's how you can easily transfer your crypto 
into your mobile money wallet so i believe this has helped you if you have forgotten some step just take your time and go back and watch this video step by step i believe it will be helpful to you if you don't have binance account yet i did a video about how you can create a binance account step by step so you can take your time and check that video the link is going to be in the description and the video is still going to be on the screen so make sure you tap it before it's vanished <laughs> So guys, that's the step-by-step -step way you can transfer your crypto into your Momo wallet.